Folks at home, folks at home, welcome to Tank Tuesday. We got Moby here front and center. We got Mr. Bowser over here on the right side. We got Heisenberg down here on the left side. Here's a quick shot of Heisenberg catching his dinner earlier tonight. Heisenberg finally got him one. He had been chasing around the tank for about five minutes. Looks like he's trying to get another one. <laughs> he is. Look at him trying to catch that one while he's, got, while he's already eaten one. Get it to the house. Yeah, he's gone. And some of you all may be wondering why we rearranged our tanks. Well, we used to have the turtle tank over here where the minnow tank is. And the number one cardinal sin is do not put any aquariums near windows. Well, we're a pretty good shaded spot right here, but we had one little area where sun could come in and get into the turtle tank. So we had a lot of algae problems. I went through and cleaned out his tank last night. We got everything looking good. I'll put some algae tips in here for later in the video. Check him out. That boy is ready to eat. Here's a quick tip for cleaning aquarium rocks if you have algae on them. Just put them in a pot, boil them for about 45 seconds to a minute, and then take them, dip them in some cool water, use a little scrub brush, and you can see that green algae has completely came off of them, just like new. So before we get deep into the video, we are heading out of town this week to go to ICAST, and we had to hire some pet sitters to come in here and take care of these fish. In the past, when we had Bonnie and Clyde, you just drop you know a couple dozen minnows in the tank and they'd eat them as they wanted to. But this boy right here, Moby, if you drop two dozen minnows in there, he'd try to eat all two dozen of them. So we got some people coming out to take care of our pets for us. Let's check in on the others. And now it's time to take a look at our 300 gallon aquarium with Bonnie. Clyde and Sheriff and if any of you are new to the channel we have a divider in this tank because this big girl right here eats three times as much as the rest of the fish and she started flexing on her roommate Clyde so we ended up having to separate them and we were really close to releasing Bonnie and Clyde in a pond or a Bass Pro Shop tank or whatever but you all talked us out of it so now we're gonna build a backyard pond and We've already had a guy come out from Aquascape. We went through a lot of the details. We kind of think we've settled on a backyard pond. All of that information will be coming up in upcoming videos. All right, now it is time for the main event. It's time to feed the mobster. Let's see if he will do a little Cirque du Soleil and jump out of the water and catch some of these minnows. All right, Moby, time for a little topwater action. Here we go. <laughs> got him uh oh I'm tempting him I don't want to get him to jump out of the tank Whew. he actually knocked water into the turtle tank over here that was pretty cool alright Moby last minnow before we head out of town you better enjoy it thinking about it thinking about it oh splash water everywhere look at how we got this thing rigged up here Clamps up top, pole going up, towel in between to keep the pressure on it. That's rigging it right there. All right, Sheriff's been liking to eat during dark hours, so let's feed him a bunch of minnows. Thought I'd probably eat some too. Got him. Yep, these two are hungry. They gave us one really big one, so we're gonna give that one to the big girl, Bunny. All right, this one minnow is probably going to fill Bonnie up for today. I don't know how good you can see it. It's a big one, about the size of a thread fin shad, a full grown thread fin. Here we go. Ooh, she caught her. Got it. That is now the biggest bait she's ever eaten. All right, we're about to be headed out of town for a week, and Liz has found somebody that's going to take care of all of our pets for the week. Yeah, that's right. Their name's Happy Hound. So if you're in the Daphne or Mobile area, check them out. They'll even send you pictures and text messages giving you updates on how all your pets are doing. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I can't yes. wait to see what type of pictures they send us of our fish. Uh -huh. That ought to be pretty interesting. So we got somebody to take care of the pups and the fish and the turtles and the kitty cats all week. I think we're all set, ready to go. So folks, there's a quick look at Polynesian and I know why Liz stays here the happiest place on earth right over there the princess castle you can see it from our room so speaking of those photos that the pet sitters send out 
everything was going great we were starting to get photos of our dogs cats the service was working out really good and about four days into the trip we ran out of minnows that's another really good thing about the happy hound they would even go get minnows for your fish but there was one problem she sent a picture of moby and she got the wrong size minnow she didn't get the smaller crappie minnows she got the big shiners and we had put out stickers saying that moby gets two minnows a day so she had been giving him two minnows a day for two days and folks look at how much moby has grown he is a tank now he it looks like he doubled in size from the time we left and knowing moby every time she dropped two in he would eat both of them and even though they're about the same size as him look at these carcasses down on the bottom of the tank it looks like he would get them in and maybe halfway digest them and then have to spit them out i don't know what was going on but it's been a few wild days for our pet bass moby some people call it a spring cleaning, I'm calling it a summer cleaning. I took everything out of Moby's tank and look at all that stuff. All the dust that's been kicked up. He was definitely due for a full tank cleaning. So I've got everything here. I'm going to spray it all off with hydrogen peroxide, kill off any algae that was on it, and then put it back in the tank. But first we're going to do a major water change and get a lot of those particles out of that water. So it'll be looking like this tank. Hey guys, here's a little quick cleaning tip. Whenever you're doing water changes in the summertime, I'm pumping water back in the python and our sink water or tap water is about 85 degrees just because the warm sun warms it up so a little tip I want to show you guys what I like to do is put some ice packs in there some frozen ice packs and then just run your water that's coming in over those ice packs and that'll cool it off Moby's been sitting in about 75 degree water temps and then if you just dump a bunch of 85 degree water in there when you're filling his tank back up he won't be very happy but that especially goes for tropical fish tropical fish are real sensitive bass not so much all right it's time to eat i just dropped him a couple of pellets in there let's see how long it takes him to find them oh he smells the pellets one's right above him got it nice bowser all right we just dropped bowser a shrimp in right there we'll see how long it takes him to find it Got him. Ate it whole that time. idea why we're about to do this that's gonna be a long ways up and a long ways down <laughs> now we're gonna roll through a few subscriber clips that Bowser wants you all to check out
Alrighty folks, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below on things you would like to see in upcoming Tank Tuesdays. Even things you might like to see in the new outdoor pond, plants, fish, whatever it may be. Leave those comments below. Look at Bowser over here scoping out Moby. Hope y'all enjoyed it and we will see you all next week. Tell you people they were the devil's children